Are we on? We're on. We're on. Hello, this is David from goldstartool.com. And uh, today we're gonna work on, you can see the mother number from here. Can't I put the mother number in the back? In the back. Well, it's 1412. It's a 1412 um, machine. And I tell you what, what, what this machine will do. So this is pretty much a multi-needle. Anything over four needle would be considered multi-needle. But this is not a regular multi-needle. This is a smoking machine or elastic, elastic machine. This machine for people that like me that are foreigners will do this. We'll take a fabric and make it like this. You know, this is smoking. Smoking. Smoking, right. So this machine happened to be flat, like any cover stitch machine. 12 needle, and it's a chain stitch. Again, the difference between chain stitch and lock stitch is chain stitch. You have 12 needle, or let's say multi needle on top, and looper on the bottom. So it's not a bobbin case, it's a chain. Like you see, when you look in the back, it's like a chain. The sewing is like chain. And this one happened to have the elastic thread on the bottom. Look at this beautiful, super size thread stand. This has 12 room for elastic. Obviously we just use one of those tiny elastic uh, rollers, but you could put the big two, three, four, five pounds elastic right here. These are elastic thread. This 12 thread go for the looper on the bottom and this 12 thread goes for the needle on top. And then this is the elastic thread beauty and this is a a uh, adjustment uh, that would you could adjust the thread to give it more tension or less tension now the good thing about multi needle is that you could use any needle you want i mean this is 12 needle but you could just take seven needles out or eight needles out and use only three needles. Let's say use two in the left and two in the right. Now, this is not the machine you wanna do this with because this is an expensive machine because it has the bottom elastic for it. And I'm gonna open it up for you guys to see. Yo. By the way, we it took us four hours to thread this thing, right? And I threaded really because I wanted to give my customer a very good service. And I also wanted to do this video. But uh, usually we're using a very, very uh, light denim fabric, but you could do any, any type of fabric on this machine. This one is like a, I would say cotton or polyester fabric. And that's it. Okay, so in the bottom, this goes through a dispenser for the elastic. And this is a bracket that could adjust the tension of the elastic. These are the lower thread that goes through the looper in the bottom. And these are the top. The machine goes on a regular 47 by 21 table. This is obviously has to be fully submerged. So you could easily work with. Um, made in Japan, beautiful, beautiful sewing machine. And um, I'm gonna close this, is it closed? Yes, it's closed. And then um, on a T, on a K leg with regular brushless motor. And this is how the thread goes in there. Now, the machine comes with a bunch of like tools to open needles would be uh, DBX 57. I got a cross reference this to a regular needle to see what it is, but DBX 57 um, could be 118 or 113. I got to double check. I will know probably. Uh, the, already, the machine is already on the site. Number one, we get a screwdriver. Uh, again, the machine is FX uh, 4400 series but it's 4412, I think. Let me go in the back. Can I see? I think it's 4412. My eyes are not, I swear, I don't know. My eyes are not 
what it used to be. Can you see in the back here what number it is? You don't have to, so don't show her, just go here. We have another assistant today. 4412PQ. 4412PQ. So 12 stands for 12 needle. PQ could stand for Peter, Queen Elizabeth, I don't know. But anyways, it is what it is. Oil goes in here, right? These are needle, come with LED lamp, and I'm not gonna thread or unthread anything, guys. That's it, I mean, it took my engineer, oh, is it on? No. It's on now. Again, we put a regular motor, and you have all the stuff for the motor, everything you need. All right, and voila, let's see. I'm gonna go very slow. By the way, there is a uh, puller in the back. You see that roller in the back? That's we call puller. Look at this beauty. Can you show everything? It's like a factory here. Wow. Here we go. This is the finish. Here. Now, if you wanted to do only two here and two here, you could have done it. Just take the needle out and you're good. You gotta leave the elastic on the bottom one. You gotta use the, keep the top thread and bottom thread and you're good. You could use six needle on this one. You could do two needle on this one. It's multi-needle, but there is multi-needles that doesn't have this option of elastic on the bottom and those are much cheaper, but we're gonna have those two soon. As people buy them, I'm gonna assemble them for them. I'm gonna make the video for you. Uh, here is the, knee lifter. I would buy this machine pretty much assembled, even though it's much harder for us to ship it out to you, unless you're pretty good to know how you do it. Uh, people are gonna call you a gauge. Gauge set between the quarter inch is the most common gauge set for this machine. You could call in and we might have other gauge sets, 116, 38, 316, but quarter inch is the most common. A smoking machine, top, bottom, chain stitch. A lot of people use this is in fashion now, using the machine. Any other question, call Jasmine right here. And um, what else do you need to know? Anything else, any question? We talked about needle. I said, I don't know what the, I know it's TV, TV X 57 Look at that. And um, um, we ship it assembled like this. And or unassembled, or unassembled, uh, fully submerged. This is David from goldstartool.com. Thank you for watching and have a golden day. Have a golden day. Thank you for watching.